lights, camera, action. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whenever and wherever you're viewing from. This is Laura Thompson, the host for The Coffee Break, uh, the fabulous, feisty, fierce, and phenomenal Laura Thompson with TAN TV, the African American Network, where we have a local feel with the global region. You know what? I was just sitting here minding my own business and I kept smelling something. <laughs> And it smelled like food. It smelled like barbecue or something. <laughs> and so uh, in walks Chef Tish uh, with this fabulous spread that we're going to talk about uh, in a few minutes. But before we get started with our conversation, uh, can you tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do, why you do it, and all of those good things? Well, my name is Chef Tish. Um, I have a catering personal chef business. I've been doing food for over 20 years. I was food service in the Army. And once I got out, went to culinary school, became a chef. And pretty much here I am. I, my business was born in 2018, and I've been moving ever since. Wow, so this is, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about your, your military career. I spent 14 years in the Army under food service. I was an E6 in the Army. Um, traveled everywhere, Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, Korea. Wow. Um, so I did a lot of traveling and I cooked for a lot of people. So, so, so you, you cooked in the Army, so you served a lot of people all over the world, mm -hmm. internationally, globally, mm -hmm. uh, domestically. Yes, ma'am. So, so uh, is this something that carried over to something that you wanted to do after you got out, or how did you get into catering? I've, I've always been in food. Both my grandmothers were cooks, and I was that kid that was in there with them. I didn't okay. go outside and play. I wanted to be in the kitchen. Um, so I've always been in food service. I always love food. It just brings people together. Mm -hmm. You can just... It just warms the heart, you know. Wow! So you wanted to have that first plate. That's why right. you stayed Absolutely. in the kitchen. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the first plate. <laughs> wow! So, so this is just absolutely phenomenal. So, what are some of the types of events that you cater? In? I've done birthdays. I've done the reception parties for weddings. I've done private events. You know, I've catered for jobs. Or, you know, people want to cater for their employees. I've taken food and done stuff like that. Just for a family, I meal prep. Just whatever they want. So you said something about being a, a personal chef. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? So people can hire me just to go in and, and, and make their meals for them weekly, daily, monthly. I go do the shopping for them, make the, you know, cook the food. They just go home and it's ready. Wow. So mm -hmm. so if I wanted you to be my personal chef, what, mm -hmm. are, what are some of the things that that you would offer me or tell me about that service. It'll be very personalized, so we'll have that conversation. We'll figure out the types of foods you like, what you don't like, if you're on a strict diet, anything like that, and then we'll go from there. You know, it's pretty much very personal to that person. Wow, so I shop online, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't like to walk around in right. the grocery store. So uh, if if you were my personal chef, you would do all that I'll for do your me. grocery shopping for you. Wow, wow, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I hate walking yes. around the grocery store because you always end up buying more Absolutely. than you need and spending more money than you plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just, it's a big job. Mm -hmm. I always end up being in the grocery store for like two hours or more just <laughs> yes. walking around. But I haven't done it in like maybe two years. Okay. I've, I've shopped online and I really, really, really like it. Mm -hmm. um, so so you, you shop for people, you cook for people. Mm -hmm. So... Catering events, tell us about probably your your largest catering event and what that entails to get prepared for oh. an event. So I think the largest one we've done was 500 people, and okay. it's just myself, my husband, my daughter, and my dad. Wow. So I do all the cooking, and they pretty much do all the heavy lifting, and, I, you know, I kind of like to be in the kitchen by myself, so it's not too much mm -hmm. they can do as far as that goes, but they'll do all the picking up and carrying and loading and unloading and stuff like that. So mostly buffet style, since okay. it's such a small group of us. Mm -hmm. So I don't do any um, like, like serving, serving okay. for you know different events like that. Typically it's like a drop off catering event type thing, but I will mm -hmm. serve if it's buffet style. Mm -hmm. I will stay and serve if mm -hmm. I'm available. Oh, okay. So if she's available, so mm -hmm. you know, she's busy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're one of those types that like to be in the kitchen by yourself. Correct. Right? That was a, a comedian that, you know, he, it was a grandmother joke, mm -hmm. but the kids would come and mess with him and, and, and she said, can't you see I'm cooking? Can't you see I'm cooking? So 
So Chef um, Tish is one of those kind. Don't yes. come and mess with her right. in the kitchen. <laughs> She's focusing. Yes. She's trying to get everything done. So you do all the, the prepping and everything? Everything. Wow. Everything. Wow. And so the, 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 what's left for, besides the heavy lifting, what's left for your team to do? Um, to pack it back up and take it back <laughs> so we can clean it all up and get ready for the next event, you know, because like I said, I bring all the chafing pans, I bring the plates, I bring the, you know, I bring everything they need to eat, you yeah. know, so I bring out all that with me. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, she says she brings all of her, <laughs> her, uh, everything to the events mm -hmm. for people to, to be able to eat, uh, buffet style. Correct. Right. Uh, sometimes she drops it off. But, you know, look what she did for us. She dropped off right. uh, some food. Uh, we got a studio audience that will probably love to have a plate uh, <laughs> after you get off and taste it. Yes. But tell us a little bit about what you brought today. Well, I did my baked beans. I call them my baked beans because I kind of load them up. You know, ground beef, the bell peppers, it's kind of fully loaded. And I did rib tips. I didn't do like a rib, baby back rib. I did the tips, just okay. kind of like bite size. Um, I usually don't use any sauce. I do dry rub. If people want sauce, just kind of put it on if they want. But I typically don't put any sauce on my barbecue. Wow. So you are tuned into the coffee break on TAN TV, <laughs> the African American Network, where we have a local feel with a global reach where you can watch when you want, where you want, and how you want. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so what are you going to do with all this food? I'd certainly like to. <laughs> well, you know how I am, Miss Laura. Once I bring it, I don't take it back. So I <laughs> hope y'all enjoy. I brought to-go plates and some, you know, silverware for y'all to enjoy. It's definitely for you all here wow. in the studio. So we got a, we got a big uh, studio audience <laughs> out there uh, waiting to be interviewed, basically. Yes. And so, um, you know, this food is for... For y'all, if you absolutely. want it, mm -hmm. uh, and I must tell you that Chef Tish's food is absolutely amazing. Thank I had an you. opportunity to, to taste some of her mm -hmm. her sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tan TV is doing a campaign with Reginald Ballard uh, called "Searching for the Perfect Sandwich," mm -hmm. and Chef Tish was one of the first to present uh, Reginald Ballard, aka Broadman from Martin, <laughs> uh, with a sandwich, and it was she had about five sandwiches mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. uh, he picked one that he really really liked which will not be announced right now right but, but pretty <laughs> like, soon. Ooh, you about to slip right <laughs> <laughs> but pretty soon i know once you get talking or start talking mm -hmm. on the coffee break you know it's it's hard not to spill the beans but i'm not i'm not i'm not so so before we go and it's been this has been a great 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 mm -hmm. great conversation but before we go can you tell us uh, uh, how people can get in touch with you uh, to to learn more about Chef, uh, Chef Tish? Okay, um, I do have a website. It's Tish's Homestyle LLC.com. I have Facebook, which is Tish's Homestyle Cooking as well. Um, my phone number is 210-414-7718. And my email is, is the same, Tish's Homestyle Cooking at gmail.com. Wow. So you've been tuned into the Coffee Break on TAN TV, the African American Network, where we have a local feel with the global reach where you can watch us when you want, where you want, and how you want. And again, thank you so much thank for you. joining me at the Coffee it. Break. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.